welcome back to Model Maker Dave's Workshop. I'm Dave. Hello everyone. Give us a few seconds to get everything sorted out with the cameras and the microphone and the lights and this and that and everything else and maybe make a cup of tea. And I will see you down on the bench. Hello and welcome back to the bench. Yeah, it, it's a new video time. So this is a new, new video series and it's on this beast, the Russian BM21 Grad late version. This is pretty much going to be an out of the box build. However, I am going to try and do some of it slightly differently than what the instructions would have you do. So, without further ado, I've started it and this is where I've got to so far. Now, I've had to stop working on uh, the chassis and the under chassis stuff, as in the suspension and the drivetrains, because the kit part that goes here looks a bit like that. It's missing its end pieces. It's it's slightly bent or slightly skew with or slightly not straight depending on which way you want to look at it and there's a piece missing off the top I have sent an email to Trumpeter and at this moment in time I've not heard anything back but it could take a little while so but in the meantime I was perusing eBay on Friday and I found another one of these and from the photograph of the box it's all creased up around this area here but inside all of the kit parts all of the sprues are still in their original plastic bags and I thought for £23.50 I'm having that, so I've ordered it and it's on the way. I mean, you're probably thinking that's a bit extreme just to replace a leaf spring. Yeah, well, yeah, you could be right, but what I'm thinking of doing is when that one comes, the leaf spring that is good in that kit, because I've seen the, the photograph of that particular sprue and both of those leaf springs are intact, I'm going to make a mould and then I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to remould it in resin and then use the resin part in here so that that finishes off this area. And that particular uh, BM21 will be built at some point in the future and Let's just put it this way. It's not necessarily going to be an out-of-the-box build. I have seen something else that I particularly like. And that, for that particular build, is about as much as I'm going to say. However, if you want to find out what I do with that, tune in and watch the videos as and when they go up. So there's a little suspense for you. Now, the instructions for this kit are very good. Very clear. Very plain. Not like your um, magical mystery tours of, of dragon instructions. These are lovely. These are in kind of a little bit Tamiya-esque, Tamiya as in just very clear, straightforward, nothing fancy nothing confusing now what is it that i'm going to do on this that's going to be different to what you're seeing on the instructions well let me go back a couple of pages and here get me pointer you've got all of this lovely detail that's going to be in the cockpit now if you follow the instructions the instructions will have you put the doors together and then put the doors on in the closed position. 
Now, yes, you will see some of this through these side windows, but if the doors are open, you're going to see so much more. And to uh, use a method that Fox used on his Ford Transit build, I'm going to make the cushions on here look a little bit old, not, not tatty, but old and well sat on, if you know what I mean. So that is what I'm going to do in there. Hopefully I can get the doors to look like they're open and not just hinged, just stuck in the open position. I'm going to have to try and make, have to make a hinge or a couple of hinges somehow and that will get cut off and that will get cut off and I will make something to make it look like a hinge so the doors open. The other thing that I would like to do is have the bonnet open because of all of the engine detail that you've got in here does look really good. And I want to be able to show that so that everyone can see it because there's a little bit of photo etch in there and um, believe it or not it is right in there it's two tiny thin pieces of photo etch to make up the uh, the fan belts um when if you build this kit and you put these on uh, have a spare box job handy because it is a little bit tight there's not a lot of room and you have to wiggle it about a little bit. So be careful. And not, it's not as straightforward as it looks in the instructions. And definitely take your time. So for the, the chassis part of the build, I've kind of got about this far. This bit is the part that I'm going to cast out of the kit that I'm waiting for, so hopefully that should be here for next weekend, hopefully, and then I can get that done. Then once that has gone on and the front axle has gone on, then the whole of this can be sprayed. And it will look better for being sprayed in one go, with everything on rather than trying to spray it and then stick everything on. Um, I try to build where you stick plastic to plastic rather than plastic that has been painted and then sticking it on. It, hmm, sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't go well. So that's where we are on this intro uh, video number one in this series. Um, not quite sure how many updates there will be, but there will be a few. Now, painting. I have acquired myself the AK Real Color Set for Russian AFVs, which I'm going to use on this to do the, there's the, there it is. So we're not doing the green, we're going to do the camo. And I'm going to do the camo with them. I've also got buff as well to use as a, a lightning, a, a, a lightning, lightning, uh, yeah, a lightning paint, paint so that I can make highlights with it. Uh, that's that. Um, what are they like? I've no idea. I've no. I've never used these before. Um, I've taken the top off one and had a sniff, and it smells vaguely like Tamiya paints. So that will give you an idea of they're not exactly acrylic, and they're not exactly lacquer. They're kind of somewhere in between. Um, that's a so, um, 
colour wise, well, it looks okay to me, but I'm sure someone might say something different. But so we'll have a go with those, and I'll let you know how I get on with them. There's going to be lots of making it dirty and filthy, lots of um, chipping, especially sort of around the front end. Um, around the door areas where the crew would be in and out all the time um, some around here as well so yeah we're gonna have a bit of fun with this one will I do a dio quite probably but what that dio will be I've no idea at the moment I haven't even got that far in thinking so I think I'm gonna bring this this particular video to a close and simply say Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so, then please subscribe. Wherever the bell may be, up there or down there, give it um, a, a, a click because then you'll get all the notifications as to when I upload my next video on, on this particular build. Oh, excuse me. So, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.